you guys how are you doing today yes I know I look absolutely ready for the runway um, I'm on it I'm heading out today yeah that's a big fat lie um, I'm in bed today obviously and um, it's, it's kind of a bummer I'm not gonna lie because I was up yesterday and I had been down a couple days before and um, this is really what my life is like. Um, this is a more accurate indicator of what my days are like than um, what you guys normally see me doing, you know, doing makeup reviews or sharing other things. but. Um, I also wanted to show you this because I, I told you guys I want I want to bring understanding to um, people not just um, people in general but doctors but I mean yes I, I mostly just people in general because I have found so many people do not understand lupus and fibromyalgia and um, because they see me looking with makeup on and because I'm a happy person I'm I'm truly just happy I you know I don't let my, many things get to me because happiness is a choice no matter what happens to you in your life you get to choose whether you wake up and you decide to be happy that day or not and it's all about what you think on if you you know the Bible says that as a man thinketh so is he so it's a true testament to, are we listening to the lies of the enemy? Or are we knowing, are we thinking on what is lovely, what is just, what is pure, and what is of good report, like the Lord instructs us to, or to meditate on His Word day and night? You know, when we're thinking on things that we love, and we're thinking on good things, our it's going to reflect in our attitude. But when we're listening to stupid people gossip, or we are listening to the voice of the enemy in our head saying, we're not worth it, or you're never going to amount to anything, or... If you just continue to give that weight, it's going to show up. And funny, this is not what I was thinking, what I was doing this video for. But, you know, because I, ch I'm, I choose happy to be happy, my husband can't provide me happiness. My children can't provide me happiness. My happiness comes from the Lord, and my happiness is a choice that I make on the inside every day, no matter how I feel. Like today, I, I feel like crap, and I look like crap, but I'm still laughing and having a good day. I just can't get out of bed. <laughs> but, with that said, I wanted to, sh I got a package today, and so I wanted to show you guys the condition that this came in, I'm telling you. So this is the package right here. I'm trying to see if you can where how to get it in camera here. I'm holding it backwards. So this is how the box came like this. Literally. Literally. Okay, there it goes. Now I'm getting it. That's how the box looked when it arrived at my house. And this is from the post office. You can see the post office label there. That's a USPS tracking. But this is the packaging I got. Okay, hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm so not good at mastering this camera phone front facing thing yet, as you can tell. But this isn't about to go on TV, so, you know, I'm not trying to be like, you know, some big movie star or anything. So, this is what I ordered. And this is a pretty expensive iron that was on sale for 20 bucks. And I was like, you know, I haven't done curls in my hair in literally a couple years, a few years probably. And since I've been having some up days, I thought, well, it was a great deal. And I've always wanted to learn how to do that old kind of cool 50s wave. And so I'm excited about it. But some snake tried to think that they were going to open my Ulta box and steal products out of it, which is pathetic. Honestly pathetic. And this happens to me all the time. 
I'm not kidding. I get packages half opened all the time because I order from good companies and the boxes show right on it from where they are and there's just the world is full of snakes and thieves and but they didn't get it this is the only thing I ordered and even my samples were still in there but I think it's a pretty sad state of this world that this is what it's coming to you that um, people just will steal your mail which I I mean people what some people don't understand is this is a federal offense and if this person got caught at the post office they'd go to prison they would go to prison this is a very highly punishable crime to mess with mail but with that said the reason why I'm kind of sharing this with you is because I could totally choose to just be pissed off and let this bother me all day and get really angry or I can just choose to go forward and just be like, well, because I served the Lord, they couldn't get my things, which nobody has before. I've had a couple packages stolen, but I get the money back through, like, if it was from eBay or something. I Because what people don't know is there's, I don't know if it's drones or satellites. I'm not even 100% sure I believe satellites exist, but... The mailman informed me that when someone is, takes something from my mailbox, they have something that watches them literally delivering the mail. And they can go back and get the footage and see who stole your package. So if anybody who's watching this is a thief, let me tell you, in today's technology, you don't want to go there. Because this is a big crime. It is not like a slap on the wrist crime. This is something that they don't take lightly when you mess with people's mail, but... I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I wanted to do this especially for you too because I want you guys to just really real think so you guys see the the good, the bad, and the ugly of what I'm dealing with. And isn't this lovely? And isn't this lovely? Um, I get these because my immune system, what lupus is, is when your immune system shuts down. If I get like a pimple and it happens to be on a day that I have inflammation what happens is like they turn into blisters it's very weird and they leave massive gaping holes on my face and wouldn't you know it like yesterday seven popped up in one day and sure enough when um, I just went to touch it it popped like a, it was like a pus like it was just like you would get those blisters in your mouth that are just all pus if you remember when you're a little kid from your braces or something it looked like a clear, clear bubble and you could pop it well it left these gaping holes and it's like that's why I'm just so beautiful today and so you know Angelina Jolie you just step aside sweetie because Pamela Aber is in town <laughs> and if you believe that I've got some a bridge in Florida that's on really solid ground it's a little swampy, okay, but I, I'll give it to you, like, for a really great price. Just give me a call, okay? But let's do it tomorrow when I'm feeling better. I love you guys. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I pray that God keeps you safe and blessed in this crazy, crazy world we live in. Bye.